I'm here to watch. I'm streaming it. Ah, but I want to watch it live. I don't want to stream in the delay. Surely, if you're here, you just help us cast, no? I'm gonna. I'm eating dinner. I have a mask later, so you're also playing. Oh, no. correct. I'll just be muted to watch, listening to you guys cast. I might hop in back a few rounds later, but I'm eating right now, so I'll just listen. Okay, theoretically, it'll start in like two and a half minutes. Okay. Dude, I'm locked in. I got that Mexican Coke. Nice. Made of real sugar, you know? Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, what is the link to the US channel? So I'll post it in announcements. Wait, Kai, I'm not, I'm gonna send the mm -hmm. thing in general. I have the link for the uh, stream. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh... Send out, Jen. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Wait, this is crazy. I don't think I have perms to add Valor in. Oh, I do, I do. I lied. She's been, she's been adding Valor and Pug so long, she doesn't know shit what other perms she has. It doesn't, it doesn't show me. It like immediately goes to like maize and blue. Wait, so is almost subbing for Izzy again? That team is going to be exhausted. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. At least they played together. They got some chem right now. Sure. They're going to feel hyped, though, after winning the 2v03s. So, mm -hmm. we should be fine. This stream is theoretically starting in like 20 seconds. I'm not going to put up any like graphics or anything. I'm just going to leave it at bare bones. I don't think people care that much. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that official. Um, this stream should, well, it's been starting for us, but, you know, there's a delay. Mm. Okay. So, now let's see, is it up? And if not, let me... Let me do a watch. There it is, okay, it's up. Okay, great. Alright, the announcement is posted and people should have the link. Alright, so are we co-casting? Um, you and me? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't know if you wanted the solo cast and I observe or whichever way. No, no. Right. I cannot waffle that much. Only a little bit. That's fine. I, I can help you out. Okay, so we're starting with Split, and if I see correctly, I think this is Forms and Friends map pick. Any, any rank checks? Oh, big Immortal player, big Ascendants, lots of Ascendants. Ooh. Oh, big! Okay. Alex is cooking. <laughs> Bronze 3, let's go. You guys on the climb. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. What a master this guy is. Wait, he's, Ooh, dro he's the... dropping nukes. He's dropping nukes. Ooh. Once he's winning, he's like winning by a lot. This guy's, <laughs> this guy's dropping nukes on the other team. Oh my goodness. 
29 force first blood to cipher? Like. Might be a natural. Cook. This guy's gotta watch out for a player like Alex. That's a cipher gap. I mean, 14 versus 29. That is true. Just think about it. Only two first bloods. Like, mm, what can I even say? It's true. So, do you have any predictions for how this map, this game is gonna go? Uh, not really. Well, you know, I've been given a little bit of insider info on what people are thinking, but Ooh. It'll be it'll I wanna be, hear this. It'll be hard to say until we really get into the game and mm. I'm actually I, I think, you know, Storms of Friends, they were in the talks about how they wanted to play this map because they've actually played split quite a few times. Um, twice against Gucci Bucket Hat. And so Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're just thinking of ways to innovate and improve, and now, you know, we're we're going to maybe see how, how that occurs. And they were thinking of some interesting compositions, but it was a little bit a little bit uncertain. So I'm, I'm curious as to what they finally decide on and how they execute it. For sure, especially if they have, like, a lot of experience on this map. It might be, and if they have new comps, it might be really hard for... So re camping trip to adjust to that. Hmm. Well, now I'm excited for the comp. I hope it's something not standard. Yeah, it should be. Should be pretty good. I want to see a Yoru. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared, isn't he? So scared he left the party. Shaking in his boots. Chewing a DM? Okay. <laughs> Sadia is still interviewing. Let's see. Oh wow. We're getting some smack talk early. Kinda of makes you wonder how how the tides may turn. Apparently, the stream overlay says Yumish versus Illinois. Right. It's already fixed. It's already fixed. Okay, okay.
Ooh, there's a lot of shit talk going on in the College Val Hub stream chat as Sadia is giving her interview. Wait, why? <laughs> What's going oh, on with C Val Hub? Well, Pris is in chat talking about how he's gonna dev Sadia. Oh, we're, talking, we're putting the smack talk, in, smack talk into the C Val stuff. Wow. Exactly. Yeah, They're letting everyone know about it. I think she's out of the interview. All right, looks like we are finally ready to okay. start the game. Are we are? Are. Can I can I get an R from the opponent the opposing team? All right, R's are in All the right, chat. I'll be right back. Shut the fuck up. Okay, my bad chat. I'm back. Back in business. Looks like we got Agent Select on right now. Uh -huh. Storms of Friends looks like they got a plan. They got a plan plan. They had some immediate ho hovers. Alright, a nice little Ray Sky Cypher Omen. And I wonder what the last pick is going to be over here. What the? <sighs> no clue. Yeah, I think, uh. I'm okay. Curious. I'm curious. Double initiator? See, they're talking about this Gecko Sky thing, but, you know, mm. my insider info, I was, I was being told that. They were considering putting a Josh Stoppable Force Raise Jet Double Duelist Dive combo, but it looks like they're playing Ooh. a more conservative, kind of run this double info combo. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing this. See, and and I was I was thinking about this like spit on the Viper because they have a reliable Raisin on the mood. Tina flex into that Omen so that Sadi can play Initiator, and then Raina gets to hang hang on on that Cipher and just anchor it down. And it's Ooh. good, you see both teams kind of putting that lower-ranked player on the Sentinel, and that's just because, like, you know, in, in the early round, just in the pre-round, you kind of put your util down, and then you don't have to think about it as much. So it just helps them play a little bit more fluidly, and it also just right. helps the other team, you know, some of the main stars that we see, you know, Stoppable Force, Storms, Greg Dog has his moments, Spin, Tina, not in the mood. You know, honestly, the entire defense side is star-studded. They, they smoked us 13-1 on Icebox. I got nothing to say, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is tough. But yeah, they're definitely powerhouses on both teams right now. And I agree with, with what you said, like learning a Sentinel, learning a couple setups and just trying to play off it and not having to adapt as much must be easier when you're in a lobby where there's so many strats going on. Yeah, and I think um, something to note is that, you know, we've kind of seen, there's a couple of key things I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. And one is how spin plays on this viper on defense you know he's he's obviously the highest ranked player here but i'm just curious as to how he kind of manages his utility and you know maybe being that highest ranked player whether he's gonna 
try to play some more solo angles and you know you see that early in this round with three players leaning towards a and you know it's just the smokes players on b and i'm also curious as you see stoppable force you know on the get-go that's not something you see very often and we're gonna see an absolute brawl come out and it's going Ooh. completely in the favor of serene camping trip just so fast so simple no not fruit loops just Living in that corner, taking up so much space and doing damage, oh, and nice. the jumping right click. A nice job out of Greg Nog, but he took a lot of damage for that. And you can see how prepared Serene Camping Trip is. I mean, they put this Viper on the mid area, and that makes it so hard for them to push just off of that Molly and the Orb. And then they also keep that Omen right. just so they can blind the, you know, the first entrance, and that leaves them three on the A site, including their Cipher players. So that's what allows them to have such a good hold on the site. And I think they had a pretty good read. It's Brett getting another... Spin kind of whipping a little bit. That's uncharacteristic. But we'll see what he can do here. I mean, it's a 1v2. It's pistols, so it's still doable. But, you know, this is going to be pretty difficult nonetheless. Looks like The sky flash heaven. Oh, he has yep. to think anyways. It's close, you know? And if Greg yeah, Greg definitely kind of tried to wrap up that round and got pretty close, but... Just too many players left alive for him to do that. And we immediately see Spin go for that Judge purchase. And it kind of makes you wonder how how Storms of Friends is going to be able to take this mid space going up against that Judge. It's going to be difficult, you know? Definitely. I think, Judge but I think having the double initiator can also help take up some of that space and finding the info of that, the fact that there might be a Judge there. We see them working towards mid right now. Spin's just doing some jump peeking. But he might get bursted on. I don't know if he's ready for this. He's already gone. Wait, let's see how Tina can handle. And Greg's noted for Tina, so they know there's one to be made, but all of those are hanging on. Now it's up to Sadia, but this B crunch is imminent, and Tina killed Greg, but like, what can they really do? Spike down, B. Oh, one what a they run and line. gun with the Spectre so clean. Fight around of arena, no fruit loops. I, I think, uh, honestly, it's one of the most overlooked things that round too is that Tina Tina threw a blind from the B site that hit both players going towards that stairs area, and that allows both the cipher and the sky there to just like clean up the kills very easily. It's such a good blind, and especially trying to get it at that angle is so difficult. But they played that really well, trying to bring back the numbers advantage to their side. Yeah, it's been getting first blood. It was really unfortunate, but Tina's able to kill this B main player, relieving a lot of that pressure. And right, the one way on B main is just so good to get info. And after she backs off, after she spots that. Wait, she's like a pro player, but she only has a classic. She does only have a classic. That's a little bit surprising. Wait. Someone should have niced her after such a good blind, but shadows traveling. Yeah, getting her kill as well. Well, she picked up the judge for spin, and that is important. You know, you want your viper player having that so they can hold that mid space. And it yeah, looks like they reading. have a good read on this because you have three players lean towards this B side. Even the cipher who started moving over is like, you know, in that spawn area, just checking her cam. That aggro cam is just. Giving them so much info that nobody is A yet. And you know, you'd think this round kind of relies on Alex getting a good timing here, breaking the cams, just making some presence. Up, but we'll see how this mid hold goes. And I don't know if they're really ready for this judge and the volley. It's a lot of damage. I take vent space, but look, he's ready to pop. That's exactly what he's trying to do there. And Sadia is able to grab that third. Thirty seconds now, left. they've accounted for this last player, One and almost able remaining. to clean it up. Nice shot with from in Great show shots. You know, it kind of makes you wonder what Alex can do in this situation. It's a 1v4. He might just have to save. And that's the power of the judge that you were expecting to happen. And that's why you got to be so scared of this Viper pick. But this race is kind of crazy. You almost had our ult in three rounds. Yeah, it's looking good for Serene Camping Trip. Winning the bonus is a huge... Huge thing, especially on split defense, where you know if you don't have guns and utilities, it's pretty hard to work up the map against something like a Viper Omen. This is the Swims and Friends comfort pick as well. It's true, I believe. 
I will say, I did, I did warn them that this could be the comp they're going up against, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, the versatility of uh, a player like Spin, right? Yeah, you can really just run such, of a, such just a play. difficult anchor on this mid. Or is it or for yeah, it looks like the he's knowledge. aware. And, and Storms of Fred does do a good job of contacting up, really not trying to give Spin any info, because remember, he's alone. There's no Vents player, so they're kind of relying on him to hold this mid space on his own. Considering how well he held it last round, I Ooh. would also be pretty content so in leaving. Oh, Nade misses, unfortunately. And no, no, not... that's Josh's need. That's Josh's need. Yeah, it's just not, not ready for that. Judge. I mean, what can you really do? It's especially on this low guy. Wow. I mean, that's not a city judge for you. Or an orb in out. One enemy remaining. And once again, it's just Alex alone. I mean, that is a tough situation to be in. Thirty seconds left. I would see them take a 4-0 lead. I mean, that is... that is brutal. This round is pretty important for Storms and Friends if they want to come back in this half, especially since they have full buys now. Yeah, the economy they, is getting strong for... There's there's things uh, that you're so gonna look for here, and one of those things is that Gekko ult, seeing how they utilize that, and maybe that's what can really dislodge that judge. But the next thing Definitely. also is, you see that a sky ult is almost coming up online, and that will also help them get, good, like, get a good idea as to where they want to end up in this round. And I'm surprised we don't see them fighting for any B orb or A orb at oh, yeah. all. Monster on the loose. You know, get going to do. Actually gets nothing, and now they really don't even have the space to push up with that Viper orb and Molly. I mean, what can they really do? Especially not that they know that there are two people fighting mid, and Alma's already there to help them out. Greg catching Alma out with the Boombot. But Spike is down, and Spin is still here, sitting with a judge, ready to take that space. The fact that this cam is just getting left unchecked in A main is giving them so much value here. Yeah, I feel like they should be breaking that every round, just as their default. They know there's no one A, and they've kind of known this right. every round. My I've got your trail. You see all the rotates already coming in. You know, and it's still a 4v4, so this round is totally in the air, but you see Spin already in that smoke, and that's going to be that player who's really going to get the trade here. Enemy down. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. And it looks like he's right rallying as well. That was just a really good job out of spin. Making sure he's there to trace the teammate who is playing ropes, heading out Sadia. Right, and even though Storms managed to get two, he was there to trade it out. I think that for now the entire Serene camping trip. I mean, everybody's putting up Anyone a positive scoreline. Everybody's looking good. Everyone seems like they're holding their, their area down. But we really need to see. I think we spare? need to see Storms kind of stepping up. He's on that raise roll. It's a little bit pivotal. And I know it's difficult on offense, especially against a comp like this. But you know, that's who you're relying on to get some value. Oh, and the mid Viper alt coming in. But most of Storms and Friends is towards a looking to do a heavy. A push, kind of but they're walking into three players. Looks like they're kind of stuck here. It's like a little bit model I mean, Amma, who is just there to get four. No fruit loop gets one, and I mean, it's just left to stoppable, but he's gonna get Last player standing. kicked off immediately. Spike down A. I think we definitely see the strength of the double controller coming in over here, just one smoke after another, and if they're not able to push past that choke point, it's just very hard for them to get the plant down. Yeah, and I'm surprised they're opting to go for this main take very often. Like, 
In my opinion, with the way they're playing, you know, you almost always have that Cypher just in this Flowers Hell area with the trip ready and then this other Heaven player ready to pounce, but, you know, they're not trying to circumvent that Cypher, put two up ramp, flash through the wall or wait for that wall to drop, something of that nature, maybe even having a Lurk mid, because there's, remember, there's no Sage wall, there's no stopping there, they can pull off a Lurk. And here we see them spread the map, but, you know, it's a little bit difficult. They're on, you know, they don't have a lot of ults coming up, and they're just going to try to fight for that Raze Orb, hopefully. But they may not even get that, just considering how fast they're playing. Now, this is going to be a huge fight on the other end. Stop Old Force versus Tina, and they're both going for it. And... Oh, and they're both spotted out. Oh my goodness. It's a stalemate now. And now, because of that, you see that, you know, even Sadia is moving through vents a little bit, coming back around. Tina has to make sure no one's pushing up B main, and these two are working up. But it's unfortunate that Storms have been hit so much. <sighs> Quickly getting healed up by Kimchi, though. I think it was some decay damage. Possibly. But don't forget, this bomb is outside the B site, so it's really important for Stoffel to not die here and also just, you know, keep putting this pressure. Gosh, but eventually, right, he's trying to have to come back around. He's trying to either bait out the paranoia from Tina or take some sort of space, but it's just too hard since three of the players are still towards A. They look a little bit lost right now, not really sure what they're doing. I mean, if you look at the spread, you can expect your sky kind of with you, and it's a good kill out of Thirty Alex. seconds left. Kimchi wow. trying to get the trade, but Alma gets a second. And you see the execute coming out here on V. Storms, is able storms to drop getting that long. That makes it very winnable, but I don't think he's ready for Tina in that corner. Spike planted. Now they use that cycle to confirm both positions, and that's going to be really difficult. They can only fight their way out of this. One. The, the flash coming in perfectly. And now it's one a 1v1 out of nowhere. And Greg Jock closes it out, and that's their first round. They really needed that one. Right. I definitely think that helped a little bit more, default around the map to take some space and then finally execute. Because we see Serene Camping Trip just like rotating instantly to help their teammates every time a push is coming in. Yeah, and I think I think one of the things that um the Storm and Friends should like kind of pick up on is that they're just playing this omen on B because they need the spin to hold that middle area. And they're leading this 3A, so you'd imagine that, you know, if you can get that paranoia out, the B side is just a little bit weaker. So it makes you wonder if they're going to be able to adapt to that. And they have this Razel, so they can really pop out. But it looks like they're still running this default around the map. Since it worked last time, I think they're still trying to see how well they can flesh out who's sitting on what side. And if they've changed anything. Yeah, and, and you see an like omen James smoke Bond coming right out towards A. Sorry. Yeah, Alex looking like James Bond right now, 007. I mean, that is not what you're looking for. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at Stoppable. Huge timing here. Walking out, and Greg Bond fighting his event to get one. Gets the kill? And the... Oh, oh, and he, knows. Oh, no, he has exactly. a timing on Tina. That's beautiful. And they're all going to move B real quickly. And that, that Cypher ult out of Alex is huge. And he gets his first kill. I'm sure Stoppel made a step. He doesn't want to overstay his welcome here. But Storm should be ready. All they might have caught a good timing here, though. Like, they gotta watch out for this. I'm not sure they know that she's having Spike planted. Oh, Stoppel is Last player standing. He was watching the heaven, aware that there might be someone pushing there, or it's through CT. <sighs> and they won all their ones here. Really well fought, even though we didn't catch quite most of the mid fight. The timing out of stoppable. Honestly, I feel like I definitely saw something like that happen right in today's That's match. Okay. NRG split awesome. match. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're gonna see them leading B again. But look at this adaptation out during camping trip. They put the raise player B. I think I definitely noticed that. that Storms in France has been favoring B because of the weak hold and spread it out a little bit more. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! Oh, yeah. And the Gecko Alt and both race me. Oh. It's an anime battle out the here. The Gecko Alt out of Stoppable Force actually detained his own teammate. That really is quite unfortunate, especially since he had. 
erased all that. Going for more, able to get some damage, a but not bit. able to get wrap up that kill. I'd say a little bit overzealous, but it's okay. She was feeling it. Yep, we're still we're still Serene Camp nice trip still up team. numbers. <laughs> Some light banner coming out in the chat because of that gecko ult. Yeah, that's a tilter right there. You know, me personally, raise ult out, anime battle, and then my own gecko detains me. Like, you will not see me happy. I might throw I can't even point. tell. <laughs> like, 7 2. That's going 13 2 if I'm on the other team. Just done running it down mid. For sure. Some more default from Storms and Friends. But three towards mid, actually. They're oh, leaving that V main after seeing the one way come through. Yeah, it looks like they might fight for the Sky Orb, and that would be really big for them. Oh, and oh Kimchi, Kimchi and getting. Arena. That's huge. The Cypher setup is gone. That looks like. Sadia and not in the mood have to lean towards that A area, but Spin's able to trade it back against Stoppable Force, trying to walk up that mid area. Tina keeps holding um, his B main area, and that just like makes it so that, you know, they don't have to worry as much, and Spin's just able to focus all towards mid. Now, Sadia's caught in a little bit of a tricky situation, because Spin's not holding the deep angle, so they could go into that. She's kind of stuck between two lines of like having to worry about A, and also like make sure that she doesn't get lurked up on upon vents. <laughs> Now, Spin's seeing some mid, he has an idea that it could be a beast like he's also hearing that dog be main, and that's why you see that Molly come out. Tina's just angry, yeah. but still has the paranoia ready. And now, you see Storms go B main, but now backing off to regroup with his teammates mid. Yeah, and it looks like they're gonna pop that sky and get an idea of where these players left. are and take that fast aggression towards A, knowing that Spin is on that B area. But Spin is so fast to rotate, it's already in 3 one Storms does get the trade, and he gets the second. He's aware of... But he's not aware of Tino with that omen ult getting out the site. And now there's low time. 12 and seconds. 10 seconds left. What can they really do? Wow, nice kill. Oh, no, like, it's secure it. And Greg was there to omen ult and get that plant down anyways. I think he had enough time for it. Yeah, I think that Omen is coming out definitely had Tina running spawn and she maybe didn't realize that Alex was up so close. Yeah, I mean, both Omen being put to good value there. And it was really good timing out of Tina. I mean, they weren't able to hear a TP off the site. And so that allowed, like, through all that chaos for her to just kind of sneak over there and get that free kill on Josh Storms who was going elbow trying to plant. Definitely. So much chaos, especially with the low time. Yeah, we're seeing these trees broken very quickly. But Tina's able oh, to and get Tina? that stoppable source. <laughs> Chris is upset after see? that one. I mean, there's just no doubt about that. Yeah, I watched that all happen on the minimap, and he definitely had the timing to push past the one way, but Tina was just re swinging it and managed to win that. I mean, look at this group up here, too. There's three on this B area. And it makes you wonder if Alma might get caught in no man's land, like in sewers, but the other team is pushing through vents. I wonder how oh, Rana can hold this. They don't fear her yet because of the sniper wall. Ben is already here, CT, trying to help. But the smokes are in, they should be able to get this free plant. But I wonder if they're aware of how fast Alma's flank is coming through. They know Raze is an A player, but look at that Cypher trip from Alex to A main. Alma can't really get through that easily. I lied. He made a jump a little bit. Up. Now Spin comes through. Uh, Gimchi trading it off. Somebody's got to teach Alex how to put a trip down. Like, that is unacceptable. I get, I get your bronze, but you know, you got, you got big boy Chris as your brother. He can teach you something. Really, he knows to crouch and throw it at head level. Nah, it's, it's, it's the heat of the moment. We'll, we'll give him, we'll give him a little bit of slack. Definitely, he was just, he was trying to take care of the flank, and he did his best. And with the Viper ult here, I wonder if Spin is once again going to ult mid, since 
we have seen Storm's and Friend consistently challenge that for the past couple of rounds. It looks like it. I mean, it's lost around the half. There's no reason or not. At worst, you keep that mid space, and then, you know, if you gotta rotate somewhere, he's able to do it easily. And that allows that vent rotation as well a lot more cleanly. And it looks like a heavy B push. Let's see how well Tina and Alma are able to solve this. Immediately drops him, and they saw Tina. And you see that sky dog coming out immediately. Storm just ready to fly out. Dodges the paranoia. So Tina's stuck between two angles. Let's see how Tina doesn't get any. And Storm's managed to catch her out. With a 5v3, this should be around for Storm's and friends. But let's see if any of the Serene Camping Crypt members have something to say about that one. First, the dog out of Stadia, but doesn't really get any info. They don't know where Storms is, but that gun barrel might be giving a little bit of info. So, I think and they may have out. spotted him out with the dog. Then swinging off each other, and they're aware of both, where both members are. Yeah, it's a 2v2 now. It's a 2v2. Stadia gets two. It's planted for B-Main, so it's looking good for Storm Lifters, but, you know, this is still a little bit tricky. Last player standing. Alex pushing out. Wow. And it's looking like... Couple of miscues out of Storms and Friends. That should have been around those there for sure. Even start that shit, he yeah, they definitely put in the effort to try and swig off each Such other, but Storms was just caught out in an unfortunate spot. Yeah, I think his gun and... was stuck out, so Ben was able to notice that and put that volley over there just to force him out that way. And another thing you see is that, you know, you have these two players be main, Alex and right. Chris, but, you know. The rest of his team, Greg, Kimchi, they're both fighting from sight, so there's no good trade option, so they kind of lose both of members, ends up in a 2v2, and they're just not able to hang on. And I think, honestly, like, they needed one of these players ready to kind of trade from up here in this B main area if they had these two play pillar players. Yeah, and even when it was a 2v2, I think maybe waiting for the spike top would have helped them to coordinate that better. Let's see how they end up playing this attack side. See a hard group towards B, but you have this Reyna alert no more charges on A, left. and I, uh, you know, that is dangerous. And Craig Dog immediately gets one with a one-way B main. I mean, that is. Oh, that is such a cringe B main. I love that out of him. But Spin immediately replies by getting both of the mid pushers. What is Storms and Stoppable doing over there? Greg gets one, and then you just let him down like that. Come on now. And now it's it's Serene Campitur with another numbers advantage. And they're just slowing it down. Oh, but Greg spots the Sky B main, which might give them an idea that there might be people still fighting here. Oh, and he sees too, I think. Taking some damage Shadows. from the spam. Well made among the ciphers, you know, you see that wall from Spin placed way earlier in the round. It allows Reyna to go up, but there's, there's this heaven trip, so Alex should be aware. And he has this camp for the entrance of A main, while the rest of the three work through this mid area and they're into vents already. I think Alex is gonna get, you know, it's gonna be pinched really over here. Left. But luckily he's backing off into CT. But the rest of the team is just totally not aware. They still are concerned about this B hit. Spin is all the way Toxic through, and Alex might just get hit with everything. Already blinded by the paranoia, what can he really do? Uh. He definitely backed off into a good spot, but... And Kimchi going for the right click, so I don't think that's the best time to use it. He's aimed at the head, too. And let's see what Greg Knock can do. The one, to, the one to start this round off, but I don't know if he can really close it. I mean, 1v4, and Spin gets healed up as well. Ace. And going for the ace here. After losing your two players mid, it definitely just makes it so hard for the defenders to keep track of every single space on the map. A little bit confusing, honestly. I think once you take that pick, especially against a team like this, where you know you know that Viper Wall is going to be there, you know they have a lot of controllers, so there's a lot of lurk timings for them. I, I think pushing mid might just be like a little bit of a mistake and a numbers advantage. Now you see them leaning outside of A, but it's, you know, it's gonna feel like the same exact setup just because of the way that these these walls are. They can't really see them cross up into heaven unless they fight for that space. Right, especially with the wall, maybe a cypher cam, a heaven would help more to see the cross and the trip main. Yeah, and Storms and Friends having to kind of force here, except for Alex who you know, really just bought a setup from the looks of it. 
the dog stop will force. I don't know if we can really get out of this. It's just a tricky situation. Almost out of yet. But Kimchi's here with the flash, hopefully able to pop that shot. Looks like a great flash, but almost still able to get that kill. Oh, the stinker getting one to trade but, but out. Not stop ready for this B push. I mean, this is the this is the power of the serene camping trip right there. They make you think it's one way because they get a pick or two, and then they immediately are already on the other side. And look, Red Dog was just really not even aware of that. And Storm is a really difficult situation. And Alex just left in no man's land because you know he thought it was A, he used to be worried about A, and now he's coming back to B out of nowhere. And because they got that lurk up through mid, they just have so much space and we see everyone from Serene Camping Trip was already on B by the time the rotates came oh in. Oh my goodness, Alex almost sent Serene Camping home, like that was almost crazy. A bronze gap nearly. It's a nice try out of Storm, but you know, that, was, that was a really unwinnable situation. And now we see the Econ for Storms at Friends in a really bad spot. Yeah, I mean, this 11 through scoreline, they're going for these hero buys, but what can you really do? Right. None of the fights that they're taking is turning into their favor. And we see a 3 man mid here. Oh, sorry, 4 man mid here coming up from Storms and Friends. Come on, let's go! But they might at most catch one player out. Which might just be what they're going for. Oh, but he gets both trades. And I don't think Stoppel can really fight this. I mean, this is really good. Really, really trying to get out, but he just might get spammed soon. They're going for more, actually. I mean, they call him a Stoppel of Force, and we're about to find out why. Yeah, bro just got full. That is. Yeah. All the spam dump. Spam. Sorry. Spam? No. Yeah. Yeah, all this spam damage oh done was just like quickly healed oh, back up I with think, this guy. Ragnarok's gun barrel's been seen. This just really might not be good. Somehow comes away. Oh, and Alex he gets one, and Alex also, also helps break one. I mean, but fully I mean, flash. These two aren't the goats. I don't know who is. Last player standing. Come on, Alex. Oh. So oh. Match point. Wow, do you see spin for the disrespect off on offense? <laughs> he definitely hovered it in quickly. Yes, this should do. Oh, the crouch trip. So yeah, here. Alex this does know how to do spot. the crouch trip, and a quick setup coming out from him. That goes there. A scuffed buy from a Storms and like Friends. Leaving Kimchi alone? Probably gonna info flash or just jump spot it, but he's about to find out. But with, with this Viper wall. And almost already up. I mean, this he spotted it out really well, coming back, getting some help to play with his teammates. Oh, oh and Alma with the judge. Oh my goodness. It's a quick trade though. Quick but trade? This, oh, I already see the rotates coming. Oh, spike down B. Along with Storm Playing off the trip. In, in that mid. With the spike down B main, and Tina trying to take it back, and gets that's, the that's, kill that's, on Greg. Oh my god, what a PC buff. I mean, she just fucking smoked that guy. Oh, <laughs> I have the spike. And we see Kimchi spotting out. Not for loops up mid. Not aware. Oh, and Reyna gets the kill. This is huge. That that was their mid player, and now they just go A. Thirty seconds These guys left. Still have to be worried about mid. I think they're gonna get a free plan off of this, and that's kind of it's kind of dangerous. You're looking at storms to really clean it up here. I mean, this is a round they should be winning. I think they're up four to two. Yeah. But Tina has full utility and that camera is planted. And look at the setup as well at Arena. Has a main out. trip, has a deep trip as well. I mean, it's looking dangerous. They're both pushing into screens. Wow. Here. I'm liking this, and I don't know. I don't know what 
they can really do. Alex might get caught out here. He, it looks like he's not aware at all. Oh one God. enemy remaining. Yeah, ah. that one. Well, let's see if Tia can complete, close it up. I don't think Storms is ready for Storms screen at all. Storms not aware of the second person in screen. Let's the timing go. I defuse things in my sleep. Good blind though. And oh, the flash in. still catching him out. One enemy remaining. He gets one, but it's not enough time and not able to save that. A really tough half for Storms and Friends. Yeah, I mean, that's closing out map one, and I believe that was a Storms and Friends pick, to be honest, so... That's a little bit scary, seeing Spin put up a 414 combat score, 23-9, I mean... And it's not just him, you know, he's followed up by his entire team. Everyone putting in a lot of effort, especially look at Reyna in that last round, even. Definitely some just small mistakes from mm -hmm. Storms and Friends here and there. the adaptation is I, I actually don't know what the next map is I want to say that let me check let me check let me check it's a bind um it should yeah it's oh yeah we are playing bind and we've seen them play bind before Kind of makes you wonder if um well, I guess we can't see it here, but I think they I think they had spin on Yoru interestingly enough. Yeah, I think they did have spin on Yoru, and then um I remember Reyna playing and Cipher. Yeah. Yeah, definitely just sitting in general did not get that across. Yeah, that's fine. It's cool. It's kind of an open cast. It's not a big deal. <laughs> just it's, join in and see what you can get from the stream. Yeah, Yo, do you guys want me to move you to like a private channel? Yeah, it's an open cast for all I care. Okay. <laughs> unless, so yeah, I'll just leave you here then. Unless you want to cast with us. <laughs> I just got out of Pracky, and I do not want to see this game for another day. Uh, I mean, that was a, that was a toughie. A toughie for the, for the Storms and Friends. Yeah. Especially on their map pick. It's looking bad for Group B. You know, all three Group B members are, are kind of down right now. No! There's a lot of, a lot of things going on in chat right now. But, uh... You know, we're not going to think about it. We're just going to expect to see some domination. Take a look at the scoreboard again, just in case some people wanted to take a look again. Uh.
surely. Surely we're gonna get this map started. It's about time. Couple of players missing in the defender side. That's what I'm saying. Like, can we lock in? You know, I got I got stuff to do. They don't pay me for this. <laughs> How did you get roped into cat into streaming? Because if I don't do it, get who, off my who lawn. is? We're defense. Real, you're taking one for us. You're you're letting the people know. It's true. Yeah, this guy's stoppable is acting like he wasn't warned. It's crazy. Some people still warming up in the range for this second map. I'm sure Storms and Friends wants this to go on to the third map. And if it did, it would certainly be interesting to see Pearl. Do you know if the other semi has started? If Jeffy's already playing? Can we check? I don't think so though. I think they play later. Looks like JP's getting ready. Getting ready to rumble. Same with Ray and Abida, all of them. Hey, gotcha. Serene whatever is crazy. Okay, they just sent it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alex with the Insolog Cypher. Uh, that's just big time. I do not know why this guy's running Gecko. I feel like that might be a toss. I can't lie. I don't know. What does he usually play? Yeah, he's, a, he's a flexible player. Don't get me wrong, but... Mm -hmm. I feel like they need a little bit of... I don't, I don't know how to explain this either. I, I feel like Gecko might not be what they're looking for. They kind of need a little bit of firepower out of Stoppable. Even running a double duelist, trying to just like force a little bit of space. I mean, it's fine. You got like a bunch of like mm -hmm. clean lanes, and it's not like a heavy mid where you can rotate easily. So, curious as how this all goes. I wonder if we're gonna see the Euro pick come out again from spin, or if they're gonna do a double controller.
I will be honest, Reyna, the not proof loops, Reyna hover got me a little excited for a second. Alright, looks like it's gonna be a double duelist coming out from the side of Serene Camping Trip. We're gonna see a standard V setup coming out <laughs> from Alex out here. Ooh. This goes here. A little bit of a whiff on the cage. Oh, this is a nice spot. Yes, this should do. Alright, we're back in business. That goes there. Save some showers back in early. Should be exciting. Spin out that Yori, it's like what we were expecting. And he's just lurking out this A area because he knows he has that get out of jail free, and the rest of the team is leading D. And he kind of sees oh, his team's I'm... already up, so they're just going for him. Alex kind of caught out of position here. So let's see what Kimchi can do. Spike Alex down, able to B. get one, though. It's actually really big. It's impressive for Let's all five being on. trading it out. Spike planted. This guy hits a clone. Oh my god. Oh. Fine, things are traded well. It stores the friends. Surely they One see spin in that Wow. Boom, some good shots coming out from Storms and Friends. Appreciate it. Beep, beep, beep. Enough uh, having that instant Yoru. Show up on one side and show up on the other right hey, after it can be really hard to deal with, but we saw the rotates coming in really fast out of Storms and Friends towards the B side. Smoke. An early smoke coming out from Greg towards showers. Confirming the deck of But Alex only has a ghost. It's kind of not the greatest matchup. <sighs> Spin takes some damage for sure, but it looks like I'm forced into a retake once again. Yeah, and Spin I'm quickly gets healed up to Spike max. planted. No flashes here left for Kimchi. Yeah, they force stingers. I mean, I don't even know how they get back into this. The repushing elbow. He's gonna take storage put up a clinic. And he's just not able to. Totally blown up by the stingers. And they're out on the site, but like, it's just not good enough, you know? Looks like we're unaware of this elbow regression. And that is not what you like to see, just getting pieced apart on that b-hole. I was kind of surprised they're there. putting that sky and cypher b, but like, you know, typically those are your lower ranked players, it's gonna be easier for them to get run down. And you already see Serene Camping Trip just leaning towards that b-side once again. I think they need to put up a little bit of a switch, I think they need to put that gecko b-side, maybe put the sky a, or put three on b even. I'm surprised that there are no trips for the jump out out, out of Poco, because there's one nerve. Poco, but... There's just nothing to stop them from just jumping out with the clone like we saw Launching last round. Smoke. And we see most of Serene Camp trip towards B once again. All of them taking up space long. And, you know, if you're just playing at elbow, it's not really fighting for any of the space. And Alex just gets left alone. Oh, really why? Uh. And we see once again that they are just they just flood out of Hoka and it's honestly the exact same take every time. It just looks like there's no adjustment. Okay. Apparently. 
I'm not sure uh, why Storms and Friends is kind of playing it like this, but they're going to need to change something up if they want to have a chance in this one. They have farmed the Gecko Alt after taking the Shower's Aggression, but especially with Serene Camping Trip just going B, they might be trying to play B. One enemy oh, remaining. Oh. Storm's able to get one. I don't think he's gonna die to bomb here. Make sure he's enough for next round. Like, if it was a bundle, might have been a save look, but especially with the Spectre. Alright, let's see let's see how the adjustment can be made here. I mean currently it's just you're just getting slammed on beating. This is what you're seeing. Four players on this B site, but like I mean that's just too much. I think yeah. you just need to swap around some of the, some of the players that you're using. Yeah, and I think this is quickly gonna be spotted out. Oh, it's just my Alex goodness. left here to face. This goes here. And it's always Alex getting caught out alone. I mean, they they gotta give this guy a chance. He's just trying to play the game. <laughs> and they're going for the showers of aggression. Like, there's just no way Storms and Friends will even have a clue until they're all the way up. It's a good yeah, trip though out of you. Alex. They looked out long and they Smoke's didn't down. find anything pushing out of that smoke. They might have an idea that Launching smoke. they might be aggressing A. Yeah, and you see Greg already put a smoke for showers, just having like an inkling as to what's going on there. And that Molly's yeah. gonna be a really good stall. But you see Tina and Not Fruit Loops going towards the B site. Yes. And Yeah, I mean these guys are smart. They don't they don't leave immediately, but it's just that same issue. They got so much out. Both smokes, or two smokes out of that brim already. Fire in the hole! And here it comes. Here's the hit. And they just have to back up. You can't really face that result. It's just too powerful. Oh, and a huge kill. Especially having that gecko hold up. But he's not ready for the elbow push. I don't think his team is either. He might get caught out doing this. He's not long. The spin's able to catch one and keep it out. But Kimchi's there to get that kill on the teleporter. They get a trade. Are they ready for this double elbow push? Storm oh, seems aware of it. And those are both one there. Stoffel able to handle one and get the second. It's a good retake that kind of comes off of Stoffel being patient and elbow and getting that kill onto not in the mood after the result. But at the same time, that was really scary because I don't think they were aware of the double aggression and also, and they could have gotten timing really hard. Tina having a slow start this time. A little bit uncharacteristic. I feel like she usually, you know, gets, gets a little bit of something going. Not in the mood really putting in the work though on these entries. Yeah, the double satchel out from either Log or Hooker, and especially just the way that Serene Camp and Trip has been taking space has just been great to see. But they run back into the same setup. I think this is the thing I had an issue with. It's, I feel Blinded. like the exact same thing's gonna happen that's been happening in the other couple of rounds. They fight for the shower aggression, and, you know, he's already gone. But like, they're just... all group B. They know there's 2A. I mean, it's just about to be another slam. They are not ready for this. And you see Kimchi playing Sight this time, but Alex is next? playing TP. Alright, it's a great first kill though. And a nice flash. And the flash for the second, getting some quick help from Alex. But and honestly, this is still in the out. favor of, uh, of Storms and Friends, just the way it is right now. But, you know, we're surprisingly not giving sadly that, that plant because that would have been the ultimate. Right. Is really low no and here. a huge kill out of Stoffel. That's, that's, that's such a big swing. Kill. One enemy remaining. And the last one's low, and I know it. Of the long. It's a great nade. The late nade doing enough work to wrap up that round. That was really well played. The flashes coming out of Kimchi to like hold down the B side. You might see an off coming out depending on how much money Kimchi has. I think they not. Seems like Stoppable and Storms are content with their rifles, so that's the way it's going to be running. Now you kind of
kind of wonder, like, is this good enough to hold the B site? I don't know if they can do it once again, but you see most of them pushing towards the log and hookah with just spin lurking, and the account. camera spots as wire. the long player. Yeah, and the sky player's elbow, so it's just Alex I alone again. I mean, this is so difficult. He's one barely able to get out. The Rave without a storm, able to catch him with the Gecko Flash. And the Sky without a Kimchi to just start working their way back up the site. There's no plant yet, very key. They're gonna TP. But they're able to catch one player as a result of it. Now let's see if Alex ends up using that Cypher ult soon. It doesn't seem like they're aware that all of them TP'd. I don't know why. They heard Spike all planted. three of them, but. Alma might be getting one here. Oh, no, Close. Kimchi wins that. Kimchi is able to. You get Tina get oh, on the board the here. Oh, but over here. Last player Kimchi standing. They're surprisingly not pushing Beautiful. Worried about how it's getting uh, likely getting go. caught out over here. Uh, she's and Tina Alexis debating on the ult, but deciding to just save. I mean, it's all one v five. We can't we can't be using our ults in that situation. Yeah, especially from a position as you oh, hold, where everyone knows my knees are gonna there. kill after this. Maybe if there was more time left in, if less time left in the round, it would have been a possible play. It's true. It's true. I wonder if Alex finally figured out the one way for Toka. Because it might be helpful to just drop a trip there and play with it. Looks like we're gonna get a showers fight, but oh, it's just so they can get that. Hold up. They're able to get it and get out. Bomb buddy out. And we see Alma using most of her util just to clear out that shower space, but still not able to take oh, it. Dig through the box is stoppable for us. Yeah, he needs to find his way so out so he can get done. that sky heal. He's playing so deep in, into the side over here, I don't know if he'll be able to get out. Or if the rotates would come in. Oh, and there's one in Hookah, but like, so far... I've got your trail! I'm not aware. Alt coming out from Serene Captain Chris, and the camera spots won't have. Getting open and still able to get one. Honestly, that's huge. Not for loops trading it out. What? <sighs> Tina out of I nowhere. Know exactly where you are. Scams Second Alex out of a kill. Regnog putting that ult down. Stops the plan for a bit, but I don't know if it's good enough. Left. Oh, and a huge kill out of Regnog there. And Storm's killing no fruit loops alive for a flank out of stoppable force they are gonna wait for this and it's gonna be really strong stoppable force is just clearing things letting people know where he is for some reason because he got spotted out by the cypher ult earlier ah uh, yes yes, yes. Last player a great flash. and the team were just coming out to clean up the round since they were forced to plant safe storms of friends knew exactly where to use their utility for. Another shower spider coming. Round. We'll see how this goes. This is where you really want your gecko kind of time. And that's that first initial dig. But traded immediately. Stoppable and the real adjustment from stoppable. Just able to keep back that space. But don't forget the this. the sky dog coming up from log. This round is it not out over. Well. I've seen Storms and Friends throw way worse. After your last the last map, I would agree. We see Tina here with a hero bundle of sorts. I don't know where she got that money from, but you know, that's that's some big work. Get your money up. That's what Tina's doing. Stop going back in for more. Oh, he wants it. Oh, he wants it. 
Oh, he sees them. He spots them. And both busy and Mark wow, ready. So disciplined, stoppable. They learned from last map. They really want to go map three. Is stoppable serious right now? Thirty seconds left. I have no words for that moment. Oh my God, Greg Nog in a spot, devious. Now One this... enemy remaining. Wait, Tina's One just aware. Heck Tina might it. just win this. It might actually, it actually just might be a dub for Tina. Oh remaining. my goodness! Oh my goodness! I don't know if she's aware. Or Ten seconds left. Left. Oh my goodness! How does she do it? How does she do it? How does she do it? Alright, we have seen Storms and Friends. I mean, I mean, it was just expected. Storms and Friends, they're, they're a team known for throwing. But Tina, that was a beautiful 1v that something. Was... I don't 1v3? even know what. Yeah, 1v3, 1v4, like whatever it was. I'm not sure, especially expecting that there could be someone sitting in the smoke since Grim is known to be the E player, which was just like a great expectation out of her. <sighs> wow, and that could have put them up six to two though. That's kind of a big deal if you really think about it. Plus, they're on that like low buy, so now they just right. got a lot of money here. That was, that was a huge round. Honestly, a steal out of Tina. Kind of, she kind of does that every so often. But let's see how the opposition can respond now. Uh, Alex, what is going? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Scout destroyed. No stuns. Okay, but you can't push on Spike that. planted. I'm the double some, up with sadly. I am watching some tomfoolery right now. They're about to get double peaked. And a kill. Ooh, as a kill. Detained with that ult. What a beautiful ult. But the 4v3, but kimchi is low. It's a good flash. Prepare for help. Oh, out die, unfortunately. Storm's able to get one more. Can he get Tina? One enemy remaining. Looks like he can. Wow. What a re well, These guys played. are retake champions, apparently. They don't be retake down, especially with baiting out the okay, rebels and like then using the weapon. It's very yet. smart out of them. Hopefully that's enough. Kind of makes you wonder, like, you know, what adjustment is Serene Camping Trip going to do to prevent these retakes? I mean, that's the power of this Gecko comp, really. It's Gecko Sky, double flashes, one you have to turn away, one you have to look at. I mean, it gets difficult. Yeah, and we see they might be trying to get Storm's ult, Ray's ult online over here by taking that Who's tower's next? control once again. I don't know if Alma's ready for all this aggression, but Spin ulting in, he might be able to catch one here. Getting all the info that the team needs, that there's three on this side. This guy does not care, he didn't oh, even use a single bit of util. I'm surprised he did not use a flash there. Alright, but let's see what Greg can do. Get spin, huge yes, kill. And Jonathan's and just kinda chilling around. And Alex could come in with a huge ultimate. Let's see if Greg's ready. Remaining. Looks like he is. And he gets he all is, four. He gets four. That's bingo. Honestly, that was a great round played out from Greg. He was just there for the trades and ready for any aggression for space taking. We especially since not. Serene was down numbers. We did not need to retake around, guys. big changes coming out from Serene Camping Trip. Especially Apple with their low vibes. Close. I don't know if they're ready for this. Oh, but that boom bot's able to catch I think he's ready for the stingers. And now they're leading the me again, mollies. but Kimchi might get caught out. Gets one, gets two, gets three! Gets three Spike with this spam. And he doesn't even need to take the orb because of Last those player kills. Standing. And stop while cleaning up the counterpart shore? I mean, I mean, that's just a clinic out of Storms and whoever. <laughs> Storms and whoever. Oh my goodness. 
the singer sprayed not coming out that's that distance unfortunately last round in the half but i'm sure storms and friends is very happy with how this half is going so far even with a couple questionable rounds yes yeah, definitely a strong defensive bind half but you know there's just one thing you got to be worried about and that's like they're off oh, just nice knowing that they have a yor in the other team is they're always they're almost always going to run into three players at whichever side that's they hit there. unless they're able to bait out those yor this goes here. Right. Definitely getting the info on which site to hit is going to be really hard since they might just have a Reina Perma set up with her Cypher. Yeah, that's kind of like the importance of that pick out of spin. That's why you see him yeah. like to for that Yoru. Let's see how Alex is able to handle this. It looks like he's not be able to do anything. Greg just barrels out and gets something. Gets I don't even know trade, how. But it's Traded out by sadly, yeah, I know exactly. Sure. Down one. Oh, Let's see what Josh can do with this one. Gets one. Kimchi gets another. I don't know if they know there's one elbow, but they saw one long just now. One enemy Looks like they're not aware of elbow. They think she's long. Oh, he might get caught. Last player standing. Don't tell me Tina does it again. Oh my goodness. I for sure thought Storms and Friends had that lost. Actually, from out of the open, the dog coming in was like a guaranteed kill for Tina. And but getting that kill on Storm Tripping Elbow almost had that round waiting to close her upper for Storms and Friends. And nine and, nine and three half. I mean, that's, that's strong. We know Bind kind of feels like a defense side of map a lot, but. Don't forget, this team is running a double initiator setup. Right. Especially with the TPs coming out from Yoru, but also the TPs that right the attackers there. can't do might just end up being a mind game and baiting out information on both right teams. There. Careful here! Right, let's see what they're able to do on this offensive side. Right Spin there. already looking to get a quick pick. I mean, I think Greg's ready for this though, kinda. Yeah. And now he's TP back, and you might see a quick execute out of Storms and Friends. I mean, this could be scary. And we see Spin just letting the TP for a quick B rotation, but going back to help his team on A. He's back fast, I mean, he knows that there's a weakness there for a moment. Looks like Storm's Friends is getting ready to execute. Stoppable, just true entry, I guess. Oh, Tina able to catch him out. Spike down A. Nice trade out of Storm's Friends, though. They're able to hang on here. They're TPing. It's really good timing, actually. These two players are kind of caught in transition in CT. But maybe they're overthinking it. Oh, but Kimchi getting that one pick is huge. He's just going to slow it down. They're kind of stuck. They don't really know where to go. They have that cypher camp, so they kind of think they're A, but still, like... And also that really deep cypher trip, just letting them know that they're not pushing And then the big. biggest part is heal. I mean, two players heavy tag, full left. healed up. I mean, this is really brutal for the serene camping whatever. Blinded. The flashback side, letting them know them, them that Somebody's here, but I don't think they're ready for U-Haul. Saudi might be able to get one. To be Able to get one. Okay. That's full of util. But Alex, a uh, champion. Full of blood. Able to get one. Just right and left in this one week. Oh, but... Alex, do it again. Oh my god, right Oh, the right him. click goes hard. Yeah, I like the over. Swords of Friends, I can see them losing this. <laughs> Not this time. Nah, Storm's heard enough of my smack talk. Yeah, he had to step up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, of course, coming out from Serene Camping Trip. Can we press tab and see their bio right here? Oh yeah, we, we, we can take a look. They're yes. doing their little stinger force again. It's worked once, it'll work again. I've seen Storms and Friends lose these. That's that's the recurring theme today. I unfortunately have as well. That's Last time you said it, I was like, surely not, but... Uh, we've seen oh, the finger here at this point. Yeah, surprises are... In check, but uh, we storms, see storms I mean, and friends towards A. I mean, storms is really putting the storms and friends, uh, like, like the name is real this game. Look at that. Yeah. Bro said maybe not last game, but surely this game. 
a lot of utility used to clean out showers, and they're able to take that space out. I got you, I got you. Back to me! Well, That's cool. definitely one of the user things. Oh. Are they ready for this? I don't know if they're aware. Oh, they're aware. Oh, they're getting spammed out. Oh, they're so aware. But most of the rotations have already come in towards A, with the TP being set up for the B site. They get the info that there's at least two people like, all here, especially- All those are down, they're gonna have to move a little bit soon. It's gonna be hard to play without them. Yeah. Especially the smokes think... are completely gone now. Yeah, Tina has no smokes either though, so it's a little bit even. It's just who can really shoot, but Spin already TPing B, it's actually the correct call. I mean, three of these players lining up towards 30 the B 30 seconds side. left. Satchel out. He's gonna Satchel to break that shit. Keeps that nade to go back tonight. I'll see what Spin can do here. Get one. Oh, and the Stinger. And Reyna. Oh, he also just has stun damage. That's all the kill out of Reyna. Last player standing. Just Tina left in a 1v3. Will she do it again? I mean, I don't even know what kind of mentality Storm and friends would have to have if they lose this. I think I would just try. Oh, that's Enemy one. Down. Oh, Angie gets one. I mean, it's been done before. Ready for a trade, an elbow push. But Storm and friends decide to group up together. And the double peak, the U peak, then I peak, just worked out full in their favor. Two one-sided maps, though. I mean, that is not what you expect. And actually, the opposite picks. Like, you know, this map was picked by Serene Camping Trip, and the other map was picked by Storms in front. So, it's surprising. Tina often for the the pocket judge. Anything to kind of keep him in. But it looks like a judge in U-Haul can honestly be what they need. But we B. see Storms in front going towards B. The Yoru TP set up, they might be ready with three players to fight this aggression. They hear the dog, and they're just slowly contacting them. Oh, some sound made. And Spin's TP is here, sadly just trying to back off. And they might just be playing retake here, especially with how explosive Storm's defense has been. One enemy remaining. Well, that's just solid cleanup all around. They're kind of locked out of sight every time they came in. They got traded in some form. Match point. Yeah. They're, honestly, their util combo to take site has been really good. The nades, backside, mollies to clear out either CT push or the elbow. And just the flash coming in just this makes it gone. really hard for them to fight it. But at the same time, they don't have as much util to play retake, apart from end. sky flashes and the raised nodes. Jump spotting shower, I mean, U Haul, able to get some info that there might be some playing a short, and she's completely correct. But Tina, not, but Alma, not spotting anything yet. And we see a little bit of oh, yeah. a, on the, the thrush coming out, but able oh, to be stopped. Storm's able to follow it up quick enough, not and the dog spotting so. Tina. Oh my god, but wait, Spin gets two through TPing, okay, that is crazy. I don't know if they're aware of the fact that... Oh my god, here. everyone is so blind. The double flashes? My retinas? No, but Greg isn't ready for Tina with the judge. Gotcha. Especially because she broke the Sky Dog with her ghost early, earlier, which was definitely the smart play. Oh, what a Rip shot out of Kimchi. Oh my remain. god, and he pops the ult? I've got your trade. Beautiful closeout out of kimchi. Attackers That's why win. they pick him up as the sub. That's the X factor right there. We have seen some great rounds and some great kills come out of kimchi in this map.
I mean, what what else can he do to prove himself? He's a big league player. Look at him. 18 and 8. Four first bloods. Keep it up with Storms. Uh, Tina. Yo, uh, put it on the main roster, no? That's all I'm saying. Wait, why? Why, why do you want to play tomorrow? Because we've been playing team is dead at 3 p.m. He cannot uh, play. Uh, we've been playing nonstop. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's understandable. Um, what what time tomorrow? Yeah, what, what time tomorrow? Because I don't know. Uh, it looks like, looks like we're only getting a two-map series. Leaving us on a cliffhanger? I mean, that's, that is tough. That is crazy. After we sat here for two hours and casted this? That's what I'm saying. Wow. Looks like we're going into a third map tomorrow. Well, looks like we're done here. You know, that's that's my job done casting. I'll see you guys next time.